Dale Robertson, born as Dale Limoin Robertson, was an American actor best remembered for his role in the TV series, The Iron Horse, in which he played Ben Calhoun. From 1968 to 1970, he served as the fourth and final host of the series, Death Valley Days. Born in Hera, Oklahoma, Dale Robertson attended Oklahoma Military Academy where he fought as a professional boxer. After serving in Europe and North Africa during the World War II, he began acting while still on duty in the U.S. military. While stationed in California, he had his photograph taken which was later displayed in the photo shop's window. His attractive picture eventually attracted movie scouts and that paved his way to Hollywood. He was the recipient of the 1985 Golden Boot Award. Robertson had been married four times in his life and had one child from his first wife. He died in February 2013 from pneumonia and lung cancer, at the age of 89. Dale Robertson was born as Dale Limoin Robertson on July 14, 1923, in Hera, Oklahoma, USA, to Melvin and Verval Robertson. He studied at Oklahoma Military Academy where he was a professional boxer. During the World War II, he served in the military in Europe and was wounded twice. Dale Robertson made his movie debut with an uncredited role in the 1948 film The Boy with Green Hair. He soon got featured roles alongside Randolph Scott in Fighting Man of the Plains and The Caribou Trail. He eventually signed to 20th Century Fox and appeared in their first project, a western titled Two Flags West, which released in 1951. In 1951, he had leading roles in Take Care of My Little Girl, where he featured as Gene Crane's love interest as well as in Golden Girl, a movie loosely based on the life of popular entertainer Lotta Crabtree. Robertson next co-starred in the western Return of the Texan with Joanne Drew. During this time, he also did the films The Outcasts of Poker Flat and Lydia Bailey. In 1953, he played Betty Grable's love interest in the western The Farmer Takes a Wife and also featured in City of Bad Men. The actor was cast in the western Sitting Bull, 1954, a fictionalized flick which depicted the war between the American forces and Sitting Bull, resulting in the Battle of the Little Bighorn. He next starred in the adventure film Top of the World alongside Evelyn Keyes, Nancy Gates, Frank Lovejoy, Paul Fix, Peter Hansen, and Robert Arthur. From 1957 to 1961, Robertson played the role of Jim Hardy, a roving investigator in the series Tales of Wells Fargo. During this time, he also made a guest appearance in NBC's The Ford Show. He joined the main cast of the series Law of the Lawless in 1964. During 1965 and 1966, he appeared in two movies, The Man from Button Willow and The One-Eyed Soldiers. He started hosting the anthology series Death Valley Days in 1968. In the 1970s, the actor portrayed FBI agent Melvin Purvis in two TV films, namely, Melvin Purvis, G-Man, and The Kansas City Massacre. In 1981, he featured as Walter Lankersham in the first season of the soap opera Dynasty. Two years later, Robertson appeared in a television pilot titled Big John. He played the titular role in the crime drama J.J. Starbuck in 1987. In December 1993 and January 1994, he made appearances in two episodes of the series Hearts of the West. In 1966, Dale Robertson began playing Ben Calhoun in the TV series The Iron Horse, in which his character goes from being a gambler to a railroad baron after winning a railroad line in a poker game. The series pilot was later released as the movie Scalp Lock. Dale Robertson was married four times. His first marriage was to Frederica Jacqueline Wilson in 1951. The couple had a daughter named Rochelle and separated in 1956. His second marriage to Mary Murphy was annulled within a year. From 1959 to 1977, the actor was married to his third wife Lula Mae Maxey. In 1980, he married his fourth wife Susan D. Robbins and they stayed together on his ranch in Oklahoma until his death. On February 27, 2013, Robertson died at a hospital from lung cancer and pneumonia. He was 89 years old.